Hello friends, welcome to our course Threat Hunting in Cyber World. So in this part, we'll be looking at introduction to threat hunting. So what exactly is threat hunting? So the threat hunting is the process of proactively and iteratively searching through the networks. And why to do that? In order to detect or isolate any kind of advanced threats that evade our existing security solutions. So what are our existing security solutions? So at the network level, we have IDS, IPS and a firewall placed. We have our email security solutions placed. We have our proxy placed. We have our uh, antivirus and uh, endpoint detection and response solution placed at our endpoint level. So there are malwares or threats which evade those existing solutions or bypass those solutions. And then they try to compromise our system. So those threats are unknown or uh, basically uh, zero day attack threats or basically uh, very new signature threats which are not detected by any of the security solutions so to detect those kind of threats we need to hunt it down so basically threat hunting is looking out or searching out something in your environment to detect any kind of uh, such advanced threats so what is my definition of threat hunting it's just looking out for stuff, finding stuff. That's it. So if you are a proper threat hunter, if you know how a threat arises or how a threat is originated or how it is processed in your environment, though you will be able to find the entire threat hunting life cycle or an entire process chain. So that's the threat hunting for me. So basically threat hunting is not a technology, but it is an approach. It's basically an approach of a person or a threat hunter. How will how will he be looking into the environment or a network and searching out for that threat which is uh, actually inside your you know, enterprise for the last six months or one year and still your security solutions are unknown about it. So it's basically an approach, a way of finding out something in your environment. So it's a data driven approach rather than a traditional alert driven approach. So basically, if you are working in cyber security, you must have been uh, familiarized with the term which is known as SIEM or a log management solution, which is known as security information and event management. So basically, we are uh, dealing with alerts and if there is kind of any kind of alerts from this existing solutions, then we uh, raise a kind of, and kind of security incident be, uh, pertaining to that threat. But threat hunting is not dependent on alerts. It is basically data, data, and data. The more data you have, the more appropriate data you have, you will be more successful to perform a threat hunting. So it's basically applying our knowledge in an effective way to look out for any anomalies in the environment. So it's so the most important term out here is the effective way. If you are applying your knowledge in an effective way, you will be looking out for anomalies in your environment and you will be finding it out. So that's what is our aim to go ahead in our course. There are various ways to perform threat hunting. The first one is manual way where you manually search in your network to look out for any kind of anomalies or abnormal behaviors of a malware. You can use search queries or you can manually hunt it down based on various uh, tools which you have in your environment. A second way is the automated or machine assisted way where you have various uh, automational tools or machine learning assistant tools which perform some kind of analysis at the initial level and then they give you any kind of uh, anomalies based on its machine learning algorithms and all. So that's the two way of performing threat hunting. We'll be looking at both the ways in this course. So that's threat hunting. So it's like you use the word threat hunting people basically means that you need to look out for threats but they don't get the actual meaning of threat hunting so it's basically looking is just looking out finding stuff in an environment those stuff in an environment which is not being detected by your security solutions which is not being detected by your alert driven approach or alarm driven approach so that's where your manual technology and manual approach or your manual knowledge comes into picture. So now threat hunting in cyber world. So basically in cyber security attackers are getting intelligent day by day. 
every each and every day you get to know something new about a new technology being hijacked or a new technology being uh, hacked or a new tool which is being hacked in some way or the other so that's a modern day attack a zero day has been in, uh, used for uh, looking out into some threats in a big organization or something out like that so basically modern day attacks cannot be prevented or detected by alerts generated by the SIEM so that's what i said SIEM is a traditional based approach but we need something new to detect those threats which are already present in your environment uh, still organizations are unknown about those threats so as you know a compromised asset or a compromised organization is not compromised in a day it takes months and years of uh, hard work by the attackers to stay stealthy in the environment to stay quiet and uh, pick out the data or exfiltrate the data into the environment so those threats are still being undetected by your SIM. so that's why we need this threat hunting approach to look out for those threats so it's a need of our it's a next generation detection system threat hunting so our threat hunting is not tool dependent it's people dependent based on the knowledge of our threat hunter is basically uh, the success to what your threat hunting program would be machine learning can help us to a certain extent but manual intervention is a very important part because machine learning can give you false positives as it is an algorithm but if you are having a proper knowledge about those threats on an attack you will be able to identify which is a true positive or a false positive incident so instead of re reacting to incidents or attacks let's proactively look out for threats in the environment before any kind of attack happens or if it's already happened uh, look out for those attacks which are there in your environment so instead of sitting in your place and looking out for alerts let's start on a proactive way to look out for threats why to perform threat hunting uh, it's like alert driven approach is not sufficient you have seen various kind of breaches how they happen in your cyber world hypothesis driven approach will be the future so where you need to assume that something or the other thing has happened or uh, this is the kind of path which has been uh, taken by the attacker and you need to hunt it down for those hypothesis that's the way dependency on tools should be eradicated because tools are not 100% accurate and basically tools work upon the way we write rules so it's again a manual intervention hunting can be performed on any tool now the hunting or the threat hunting which will be performing is basically not dependent on any tool we can use any kind of solutions like log management solution or SIEM solution or any other kind of solutions until and unless we have data and we have meaningful data so that's the way effectively threat hunting would be proceeded what will be the benefits yes continuous improvement in the detection capability and uh, we'll be able to find unknown malicious activities as well so that's a benefit of threat hunting so what are the various terminologies will be used in threat hunting SIEM Security Information and Event Management, Indicators of Compromise, IOC, TTP, which will be Tools, Techniques and Procedures, which is also called as Tactics, Techniques and Procedures, IR, the Incident Response, which is there in each and every organization, EDR, Endpoint Detection and Response Team, UEBA, User Entity and Behavior Analytics, and next is Behavioral Indicators of Compromise. So that's some kind of terminologies which will be using in this threat hunting course so better be sure of all those terms so that's it for this course or this part we'll be looking or starting with our actual threat hunting topic in our next uh, topic let's uh, uh, conclude for this course thank you very much bye bye